Hi, Jules Bless Vegan here. Welcome to day six. What? Oh, no, you didn't. I know. <laughs> I can't believe it's been six days already. That's fantastic. Especially if you're on that countdown to 100. And I guess I'm supposed to call it day 94. But nevertheless, six days of getting ready to be the best version of yourself. And I'm calling this one, when in doubt, go without. And I'm really under the weather today. I don't know what happened. Um, but I know that eating this way, even if I am slightly getting a cold, that cold is going to be cut in half. Because fruit, vegetables, proper nutrients, proper nutrition, the right plant fat um, just makes my body work so well in unison, um, you know, with the planet that I know no matter what, it'll be far briefer than if I was eating the standard American diet. I would be sick for weeks at a time. Now I know, yeah, I might be hit with something, but it'll just be a couple days. So anyway, when in doubt, go without. What I was thinking was, you know, I was going to lunch today because we had a teacher training all day at the district. And we decided to go to a Mexican restaurant. And I was like, okay. And then they didn't have black beans. Um, the girl wasn't sure how the stuff was prepared. I could have just done some lettuce and um, really just some lettuce, maybe avocado, I don't know. But I had already had a good amount of vegetables as my breakfast, which I often do. And to be fair, vegetables aren't vegetables, right? Because anything with seeds is considered a fruit. So even though they're baby bells and um, cherry tomatoes, they're technically fruit and they were delicious. So I had a good amount of that. And then I brought a big thing of water and I was sitting there and I was starting to compromise and starting to justify stuff that just isn't my food. And so finally I thought, you know what? I'm in doubt. I'm going to go without. I'm going to go ahead and have water. Um, the girls weren't uncomfortable. They just went about their business. No one even said, Juliana, why aren't you eating? I probably could have explained, even though I don't even have the energy to explain because I'm so tired with, you know, with this potential cold. But they didn't anyway. They just were like, whatever. I guess she chose not to eat. They enjoyed their gigantic Mexican fiestas, man. And I was okay. Um, I actually enjoyed the smell. A lot of it was familiar uh, from my past because it's just not how I eat now. But now, I also was thinking about intermittent fasting. And I was like, you know what? I can let my body just rest a moment. And I'm going to go home and have a healthy dinner I can feel good about. So, message of the day. When are you in doubt? And how can you go without and know that you're not going to starve to death and you're going to be okay? So share in the comments below and until next time, be blessed, right?